Hi, in today's video, I want to show you how you can use Excel templates to export multiple reports into the same professional looking and extremely customizable layout. You'll be able to add your own logo and customize your look in any way that fits your data best. I will then show you how you can schedule it to be sent out as email attachments in either Excel or PDF formats. When you're done setting everything up, you're going to get a report that looks like this one over here. You can then schedule it to be sent to yourself and others at a frequency that you want to use. So here's how to set this up in four simple steps. So the first thing you'll need to do is go over to the templates tab. In here, you will see that your current report is already listed and here's a bit of a preview underneath it. So to add more reports, just press the add report button. I'm going to add the win rate report in here. So the main thing to note here is where your data is going to be placed. So in here, you just want to make sure that nothing overlaps. So in this case, you can see the current report has four columns and this many rows in here. So you want to make sure that the next report is placed in a location that is after that number. Now, if you're adding multiple reports, then you may want to open this here uh, in a new tab, and then you can take a quick look to make sure that um, you know what the layout of your actual report is. So this is what my finished report is going to look like. I have placed all my data in sheet number two because in my example, I will be placing all the visual graphics on sheet number one. So now that I'm happy with my result, I am going to go over to export as Excel. So once you've downloaded your Excel spreadsheet, we're on to step two. You will see that once you download it, everything is uh, just raw data. There's no formatting to it or anything like that. So the first thing I want to do is I want to expand all the columns so that the data is easier to see. The next thing I will do is I will add some formatting. Maybe I just want to add some bolds to it. And then I can even add some extra functions. So maybe I want to add a ratio of actuals against targets and then make that a percentage value. So once I'm happy with my formatting, the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to pick the data that I want to create charts out of. So in this case, all I want is this piece of information. I'm going to go to insert and pick the best graph for my data. I am going to pick uh, this one over here. So the way I had it set up was that on the first page, I had all the charts together. So I'm just going to go over here and uh, cut the chart over. So that is uh, control X go over to the worksheet and control V. So I've pasted it here now. All I have to do now is add some formatting to this page so that once it prints to PDF, it looks uh, properly presentable and it all fits on one page. So this is what my end result looks like. You can see that all the graphs are on one page and I can press control P just to see what the printed version would look like. So this is also what the printed to PDF version will look like. If that is not what you wanted it to be, then you have to just go back here and select the area that you want to print. Go over to page layout, print area, and then set the print area. So once you're happy with the end result, what you'll have to do is go back to the input data tab and delete all the information in here. You have to be careful though how you do it. You do not want to select the columns or the rows because that is going to lose all the formatting. What you want to do instead is click into an empty cell, press Control A, and you will use the delete button on your keyboard to delete everything. Another thing to keep in mind is that if you did any direct math in here, like in my example, I added the ratio, you want to press Control and select all that data in there because this is a function. This is not just data coming from the report. So you want to make sure you keep that. So now I'm going to hit the delete button and you can see that the math here is still happening. It just has no information to go with. So once I upload the new information from the new time period, this math is going to work again. And that's it. All you have to do now is go over here and save your template. On to step three now. Once your template is ready to go, you have to go back here and click on upload template. In here, you can choose your file and upload it. Once it has been uploaded, if you're still fine tuning your report, you can go here and override the report and you can also download any previous templates in here. When you're done, go back to report over here. And now you have to go in the Excel template drop down menu and select the template that you want to use. I'm going to go with this one here. 
As you can see, it pulls the tab names from the template. So you have the option of hiding some of the worksheets. In my case, I'm going to hide the input data tab and only display the worksheet tab, which is where all the visual graphics are. You have multiple export options here. The most popular are exporting as an Excel file or as PDF from Excel. So PDF from Excel, what it does is that it takes the Excel template and then prints to PDF. So let's see what this looks like. And here you can see that it downloaded the report that I was showing you in the very beginning of the video. So once you're happy with the end result, it is time to head over to the final step to sharing and scheduling. In here, select the Schedule Report button. Here you can select the frequency of your report. And here you can select the format that the attachment is going to be. So the most popular are Excel or PDF. Excel. So PDF Excel, once again, is the one that runs through the Excel template and then exports as a PDF. And here you can select the recipients of your report. Once you're done setting everything up, just head over to the Save button up top. And that's it. I hope this video helped you understand how you can use Excel templates to export multiple reports into a single file. If you still have questions, feel free to reach out to the Sapiens BI team. I'll leave the contact information below in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.